The trains arrived and the people were driven out with clubs. They were lined up in front of two big warehouses. One was marked cloakroom and the other valuables. And there they were made to undress. A Jewish boy handed them pieces of string to tie their shoes together. They shaved their hair. They told them it was needed to make something special for U-boat crews. And then they were headed down a big corridor to bunkers with stars of David on the doors and signs that said bath and inhalation rooms. The SS gave them soap. They told them to breathe all the time because it's good for disinfecting. And then they gassed them. Tumila, why soaps? So that they would agree to go in, I think. Come on, Mila, stop it. Your bedtime stories are scaring everyone. Yeah. It. You know, it's ridiculous. I, it I cannot believe it. I, I didn't say I believed it. I said I heard it. From whom? From somebody who heard it from someone who was there. You know, if they were there, they would have been gassed. Yes. It doesn't make any sense. We're their workforce. What sense does it make to kill your own workforce? To go to all this trouble of assembling a workforce only to... No, it can't be true. We are very, very important for them. Yeah, me too, now. Good night. Good night. Good night, sweet.